And now that the government shutdown is lifted for now, Glacier National Park employees are returning to work. Park employees met Monday morning to address what areas of the park need the most attention. They say luckily the winter months are not the park's busiest time of year, only seeing around 10,000 visitors during the cold months compared to millions during the summer. Snowplows are now able to clear off the roads and the visitor center, and restrooms are being readied for visitors. During the shutdown, food banks stepped up to help those employees struggling to provide food for themselves and their families. Officials tell us that a group of park employees saw this as an opportunity to give back to their community. Employees stepping up and organizing volunteer days in the local community, which, you know, as, as much as we hope that we gave back to the community, it also gave a lot back to us because it was really wonderful to get to see our coworkers and also feel useful and helpful for, um, you know, a lot of the organizations that we were able to volunteer with. And to the east, visitor centers in Yellowstone National Park are open again for the first time in more than a month. These centers reopened Sunday as park workers started returning to the job following the partial government shutdown. That means backcountry permits can be obtained for remote areas of Yellowstone, though a skeleton staff had been on hand at park entrance stations for about two weeks. Fees are once again being collected at the gates. Park managers say there is a lot of work to do, such as snow removal and safety checks of facilities that were closed during the past month.